ladies and freaking gentlemen, boys and girls, today, today is gonna be a good day. We got the Honda loaded up, we got the Outlander loaded up, and all the hunting land. We got like a thousand acres to explore on the four-wheelers at the Deer Club. We have plenty of swamps that no four-wheeler's been in in over 30 years. My dad used to mud these swamps. Like, these swamps have been there forever. So, got a lot of exploring to do. It's gonna be fun. Stay freaking tuned. Well guys, we have made it to the clubhouse. Isn't it beautiful? We got the four wheelers on the trailer. We are ready to rip. But first, I want to show you guys something. Come on, come on. Now I got more pictures at my house of like back in the day when they rode four wheelers and stuff here. Oh, Honda 300s in every pick. Look at this. Gang photo of all the 300s. Look at that one. <laughs> oh my God. That's like from the 80s. That was literally like the 80s, early 90s. Look at the, the 300 brand new. Dad bought that four-wheeler brand new. Look how clean it is. I got a lot of pictures from the 80s and 90s at the house from Dad ripping four-wheelers. That just goes to show like these, these swamps were ridden. 30 years ago, 30, 35 years ago. <laughs> and we're gonna go break them in again. So without further ado, switch it to the GoPro. Y'all ready to rip? Cut that! Woo, baby, we're at the hunting land today. So many swamps, so much to explore. The winch rope on my winch is actually very frayed, so we might get stuck today. I mean, this stuff out here is real bad. These holes out here aren't your normal riding park holes. They yeah, have a hard bottom because so many people go through them. Or that even have a bottom. These holes out here don't have bottoms, boys. Let's see if we can't just work our way back in here to this swamp. So many trees down. The big problem with the mud out here, these swamps that hold a lot of water, is that there's a lot of sand. Yo, this sand is bad. Whenever the creeks aren't like that clean, clear water around here and they're like this, that sand sinks up really fast. Woo! Scary, scary, scary. I don't want to just fall through them to the sand. <laughs> See, I'm sinking up to my ankles walking into the sand. <laughs> I'm over my ankle. This right here used to be the good mud hole. It's filled in with sand. You gotta be careful, dude. The sand ain't no joke. If you start spinning all four, don't keep spinning. I'm gonna go down here, see if we can't get into this swampy stuff. Oh, this stuff's, this stuff's dangerous. This stuff, it's a sinkhole. I'm already stuck. I can probably get out of here. I spun my tires a half turn and it's on its frame. We gotta get out of here, dude. We can't, we can't play around in here. Hook a rope to me. This is gonna get ugly quick. It sinks up like mud, but it's sand. Like, look at that. That's up to my knee. All right, we're leaving. Well, boys, that did not work. We're gonna go ahead and head out and go to another swamp. Cause this swamp, the sand right now, you mean you step and you sink that deep into it and it's sand. That sand stuff back in there is literally the absolute worst. I mean, it's so bad, you can't even play in it. It's not fun. Oh, this thing sounds so mean. Oh boys, we're coming up on the pond and I've always wanted to take my foiler through this pond. I'm pretty sure this pond is like 12 foot deep out in the middle. It is such a beautiful pond though. Crystal clear water. It's getting down deep a little fast. Definitely don't want to go out in that mess, son. If you sink my foiler, Miller, I'm going to be a little upset. I know there's a drop off in here somewhere. <laughs> oh, that's sketchy. I know the pond's so deep because I took my boat out here and uh, the depth finder was like 12, 16 foot. This is one of those ponds you gotta be very careful around. <laughs> he was just having the time of his life. Hey, we're gonna keep going. All right. This, this, this <laughs> pond's dangerous, dude. Yeah, it is. It's gonna be bad. <laughs> Love this thing. I kind of want to bring all the boys out here. You know, when you got multiple four wheelers, you got multiple winches, people are a lot more willing to try different things. And a lot of stuff out here, it's not safe to do. But if we get all get the entire crew out here, we're gonna be doing it. Not having a good winch with us today sucks, man. Like I'm about a hundred percent sure certain. Oh, there goes a deer. That was a buck. Look like a solid eight point. What's down there? There's a solid buck that ran through, but I didn't get a good look at him. I seen a big G2 and then a uh, 
Looked like a pretty good G3. Anyway, getting back to what I was talking about, this winch isn't worth a crap. I'm like 100% certain it's gonna break if I try to pull winch myself out of a hole. Oh, we got air. This thing's a rocket, dude. <laughs> There's some ripping. Some quality. Rap ripping, dude. Woo! Oh, baby. Let the Honda boys catch up. Oh, we should play a trick on them. Let's go down in here and make a U-turn. Try to get behind them. My fuller's too loud for this. Oh, I hear him. Oh, no, I see him. Oh, there he is. <laughs> so I know we just came down here on pit bikes and whatnot, and that was a lot of fun. But I think fuller's is going to be a whole lot funner. I used to ride this property when I was a kid with four-wheelers, but, uh, you know, that was with Dad's four-wheeler. I have never been in this with a four-wheeler. I don't think it's that deep. Oh, fuck. What? Bro, that limb popped up, and for some reason, the alligator's first thing I thought. <laughs> I don't know why. Oh, it ain't nothing. It's a good little watering hole for deer. When we were a kid, if we could find something like this, though, we would turn it into a mud hole. <laughs> I'm trying to think of cool places to go. I do have an idea. We need to go show Miller a dirt bike hill climb. Yeah, doggy. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. So we've been on this little path of, you know, bring the foilers out to the deer club. Bring the pit bikes out to the deer club. What if we bring the supermotos? When we ride them here, that would be sick. Look at our bridge. We made a bridge and all the sand stopped up under it. <laughs> this is the hill, Miller. No way. <laughs> yeah. Dirt bikes, dude, so much fun. We got our little bridge to run up so we can get some speed right here, come over the bridge and zoom. All right, so this was like my second video I edited for you. Uh-huh. Holy crap. They look so much smaller on video, don't they? You go up that? Yeah. I don't even know if I can walk up that. <laughs> There's no way. Oh yeah. There's no way. Oh yeah, we go up this. <laughs> what? And a lot of times this root right here, you gotta pop up over that root. Uh-huh. And so it throws your ass end up and then you come back down and you lose traction, so you usually crash right about there. No way <laughs> you get up this. Oh yeah. It takes some practice. Like I probably fell on this hill 50 times, but once I got it, I got it every time. I figured out on my bike that second gear is perfect. And you just gotta let her eat, baby. Let her eat, and then when you get to the top, it's still got that low wind in second. What the heck? All right, when we bring the pit bikes out here, I'll try it. There's a whole valley right through here of hills that runs all the way down. There's one over there, this one, this one, and that one. We'll start on that valley over there, way over there, as far as you can see to the tree line. Come up and down the valleys. You come down right through here, go in between these rocks, then shoot up that, go around, circle back, and hit that hill climb. Boys, it is hot. It's a little warmer than it For the gator waiter, dude? The mud cow? Yes, sir. Short time's over. Let's go rip. Woo-hoo! Woo-hoo! It's hard to keep the wheels on the ground, baby. <laughs> Woo! Ow! So we're trying to get to the power lines now. There's a swamp and a nice mud hole over there that I don't want to go through. But the way we got to get over there is we got to go through all of our property. And it's very hard getting over there, not gonna lie, because there's creek crossings everywhere and all the trails aren't maintained. So we'll just see if we make it. So I get a lot of people asking about the clubhouse and about how to join the club, but it's not really a club like that. You see, the clubhouse was actually bought by my dad and his buddy back in the day. They bought it real cheap, like six grand, fixed it all up and whatnot. And then just over the years, all of our buddies, all the people that hunt around it, that all have, you know, joining property, all of our leases like are, that are joining, you know, we just kind of call it a club, you know? This lease we're on, this was dad's lease, he had it for like 25, 30 years, and now I have took it over, and now I'm paying for this lease. And uh, it's just, it's awesome out here, man. 750 acres, all to myself to come out here and just vibe, baby. Come on. Come on, send it. Full throttle. 
<laughs> so this is Christian, guys. Say hello. Say hello, Christian. Hey, guys. You, you, I'm, I'm talking to the GoPro so we can look at your pretty face. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, so Christian's new. We're trying him out. We're going to see how you do. Ca camera guy. Camera guy, wash guy. We got him out here filming. Kind of get him a rundown of how we do things. And he's riding bitch. You like nuts to butt? Pretty uncomfortable, not going to lie. <laughs> So nobody has been down these trails in forever. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a skid steer, get a bush hog implement, and just come down here and make these trails for the four wheelers. Oh, no way, the swamp's full. The swamp is full, the beavers are back. Yes, there's beavers. Wood ducks, beavers are back, baby. Dude, I learned from Kendall Gray's video, like you can see where the beavers go in and out. Oh yeah. Damn, dad. Yeah, there was two wood ducks in here. Bro, I'm so happy about that. The problem is, is the beaver Built the dam in the wrong place. He needed to build it down there. But the beaver probably doesn't have enough beaver powers. We could get a foiler back here and climb up over the dam. It would be cool climbing over the beaver dam with a foiler though. For 30k likes, we will destroy the beaver dam. Back on the road. Isn't it crazy like beavers? Like literally, in general, they cut down trees with their mouth. Y'all wanna go play in that water down there? Go get some cinematics. Christian, you gonna handle cinematics? So dad actually got his truck stuck down here one time and it took everything to get it out. There's a bad little swamp right here. I don't know how bad it's gonna be. I don't know how deep it's gonna be. See if we get stuck. Oh, please don't be eight foot deep. Oh, it looks so nasty. Oh, it's so, it looks so nasty. Oh, this is gonna turn into a bad mud hole. Oh yeah, just creeping through it the first time I can tell. It's gonna get bad. We're gonna have a fuller stuck in there before this is over with. <laughs> Look at Miller go. Am I in four wheel? Oh my goodness, I was in four wheel drive? It's gonna get real bad. Oh, Miller's gonna get stuck. <laughs> That's the bad stuff. Oh, God. Rip. Oh, Miller's so stuck. We found a good mud hole, baby. I've just bottomed out. Come grab the winch. Trust me, you're going to need it. Yeah, there's no. Come closer. I ain't coming down in there. We can't have two foilers stuck. There ain't nowhere to hook the winch to. Woo! 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 Ah! bottomed out dude it's so bad oh my god i have a hole in my waders i hope this winch rope holds up if it doesn't i'm gonna be very upset do my little dancing dance get her on there miller she's good oh please don't break rope bro this mud is so bad yes sir let's go wow I know for a fact no one's been in this since dad got stuck. Since that, probably that picture was taken. It could be one of the way one of those pictures was taken. All right, I'm gonna go through there. Good luck, bud. See if the old Cam can make it. Smells like it's honestly on fire. This does not smell good whatsoever. All right, now we gotta go find a creek to wash off in. My foiler smells like it's like cooking something. It smells like a burnt grilled cheese. <laughs> My foiler smells like a burnt grilled cheese, dude. I really don't know if I can get to where I wanna go like this, but we're gonna try it anyway. It's gonna follow this creek all the way down, boy. We're trapped. I refuse. All right. There's always a safer way to do this. Sweet. Yes, sir. Don't roll my four wheeler. What are you doing? I don't want to. Why? Uh -oh. Wait, stop. Wrong way. Wrong way. Yeah. Yes, sir. Getting closer, boys, I can feel it. I don't know how deep this shit is. I'm a little nervous. For some reason, I just feel like I'm gonna get bit by something out here. There's, I'm standing on a big rock. Don't slip and fall. <laughs> Let's go, there's a water slide. Watch out, watch out, watch out! Watch out, shawty! 
Yeah. You want to hold hands? Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna get the foiler down here. Fun boys, get a little water slide action. Trees down galore, man. We need to come in here and clear some trails. Oh, that backfire! Yes, sir. Oh my goodness! Someone come, come cut my trails for me. This is stupid. Right through this creek, a little creek crossing action right here. Oh, we can make some good mud in through here. No doubt. Oh, we'll get buried out here. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Dude, that was fun. Oh, man, it's been a good day. That was so refreshing. Now we just want to ride. We just want to rip. Ow! Fuck! That hurt. Hey, we gotta go up this fucking hill. Oh shit! I hope nobody flips. I hope the Honda can do it. trees going uphill because you'll flip this son of a gun so quick come on baby come on I know you got it in you why is my my oil lights on what's that mean low oil yeah probably and this has that thing come on oh that's temperature oh Looking? Heavy. Maybe yeah, she clogged. All right, let's roll out. Oh, fuck. It's at 234. Let's see if it keeps going down. Yeah, we're at 230 degrees, boys. I was probably running at like 260. We'll watch it and see if it keeps going up. But we ain't got an option. Remember when I said my foiler smelled like a burnt grilled cheese? Watch that temperature. If it, kept, if it starts going up, I gotta turn it off. It's steadily at 232. Go ahead and down in the comments. What is the hottest you've gotten your four wheeler to? Because I've thrown mine into limp mode. It's got so hot. Taking a solid 234 degrees. 235. Oh, that's not neutral. <laughs> Fuck. Just 20 miles an hour. Throw it in reverse. Use this time to let it turn off and hopefully make it down this hill. Come on, pick up speed. Pick up speed. Come on, I didn't slam it into reverse for nothing. Come on, baby. Go, go, go. Nope, radiator for Andy, keep going. Woo! I'll be the motor sounds once. Come on, baby, I know you're hot. Just breathe, baby. Breathe. 232. We're gonna make it. 32 and we made it guys if you would please hit the thumbs up button if you guys want to see us come back to the deer club and ride foilers again maybe bring more people i think that would be fun boys